Welcome to our synodal journey. We begin with a prayer invoking the Holy Spirit, the prayer for the synod. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask you, who are at work in every place and time, the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends, I welcome you to our synodal journey. On the 10th of October, Pope Francis will be opening officially and launching a universal synodal journey for everybody, for everyone in the church. This synod is a synod for all the people of God where everyone has to be involved. We will be journeying together, together as a community of God, listening to the Holy Spirit together, listening to one another, and together discerning what God wants for us as a church. The theme of the Synod is for a Synodal Church, communion, participation mission. I invite each and every one of you, children, mothers, fathers, youth, priests, brothers, sisters, the elderly, everybody, everyone, nobody should be left behind in this journey. In our diocese, the synodal journey, the synodal process will be launched on the 17th of October. Every bishop is going to launch the synodal journey in the diocese. And each and every one of us in our different situations and localities, in the parishes, in the small Christian communities, in our associations, in the family, will be invited to come together and experience this important process that is going to last up to 2023 in the church. Nobody, nobody is so rich as to have nothing to receive. And nobody is so poor as to have nothing to give. This is the time for us to listen together to the Holy Spirit and to listen to one another and especially to those voices in the periphery. We will be with you, journeying with you, accompanying you, trying to assist you to be part of this journey as much as possible. Without you, without each and every one of you, this you know, our journey will not be a success. It will not be complete. Your voice, your voice that you may consider, that voice that you may consider to be little, to be insignificant, is important. Without that voice, without that ear listening to the other person, without the common listening to the Holy Spirit and listening to one another, this synod will not be a success. Let us together feel it because the synod is here and it is our synod where we will be journeying together, discerning our vocation, and together working towards a church that is synodal, a church that of communion, a church of participation, and a church on a mission, because the church exists to evangelize. It's our synod, we are in it together. Communion, participation, and mission. Let us listen to the Holy Spirit. Let's journey together. Together as one.